Hi Diamond Friends, it's Linda from Diamonds for Linda. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. I really appreciate it. Today I wanted to share with you um, that I started this kit. Let me actually see if I could zoom out a little bit more so you could see most of it. I started this kit and there were a few symbols that Sandy brought to uh, my attention for doing the unboxing. I do have a, a, a video with the unboxing, so if you'd like to check that out, please do. I'll leave a link either in the cards above or in the description below. Um, so she did bring to the attention that there were a few symbols that were very much alike. And on her website, on this page, there is a PDF download, so you can um, check that out. So as I was kidding this up, I noticed that there were some other symbols, like there were different fonts of the same letter. So I wanted to kind of go over how I arrange these. At first I was like, oh no, this is going to be so confusing and it's going to be hard to do the diamond painting. You know, like some, you know, sometimes when you got to really hunt for the, um, which one it is, it could make it not a calming experience. So what I did, let me go ahead and get my glasses on. So this is 120 um, colors. So I kitted mine up in this. I got this from DP with sparklers a while back. I did find this on Amazon. I would like to get me another one. I will link this below if it's still available on Amazon. I'd really like to get a few more because I love the squares. The um, Instead of the round containers, I like these ones. They're, they're both great, but I, I, I like these ones. They just kind of look prettier to me. So anyway, I use this. And this one holds, it has two of these in here. And I'll, I'll show you the symbols up close and what I did. So at first I, I had, it when included with your um, kit, you do get a, it's not a sticker sheet, but a printable sheet. And what I did was I just used regular tape. I didn't even run it through my my Zyron sticker sheet because I was just being too lazy and didn't want to deal with that. So I just used regular tape, scotch tape on the top. So I cut up the symbols and then I had put them in the order of the DMC that's on the, um, the symbol thingy here. And that was a little bit hard because I had to find, these weren't numbered, there were, um, and that was just too hard for me. That's how I normally diamond paint, by putting everything in the order that it is on the legend. So what I did was I ended up taking them all out and I put all the numbers. I put uh, one through eight. So here's what I did. I used some of these little tic-tac ones because this, is, this holds um, 100 and eight and this is 120 so what I did was I used some tic tacs for some of them that were just going to have just a tiny bit in there and if you put two of these in here it fits just right but if you look closely you'll notice that right here there's a let me take my glasses off a and this different font and then you have b b and you have c then you have two d's right here you have these two E's and then you have the two lowercase E's. You have two F's. So I put everything in numerical and then everything in alphabetical order. And over here you see you have like this this lowercase T and then a T over here and then you have so you have like four T's right there. And then let me show you the second. Let's see if I could or well, maybe I'll just bring this up. So on this one, so then once I did all the, the alphabetical order, I went, these are the two that are mentioned on the PDF. And then here's all the Y's are all together. These are the two that are most confusing, but once you get started and you just double, with these two I do kind of double check to make sure it's the correct ones. So what I did was I put all these symbols, um, cause these ones kind of all to me were, seemed like they would be grouped together. And then up here, I put all the math symbols. So you have math right here. And then I just kind of grouped them to what made sense in my mind. And then over here, I put the arrows. Thankfully, the arrows are different shapes and there are different colors, although these two are similar, but you could really tell them um, apart because this is, this one is, um, 
dark black and and then these ones here I put together so when this symbol comes up on the canvas I will see both of them to make sure I grab the correct one and same with these two these two are almost kind of alike so that is how I did it and it's really worked out fine I have not had any issues and it had a, it hasn't made working on this canvas any less enjoyable in fact I am really loving all these colors this is what I have so far and I have this just taped on so it doesn't come off while I have it um, rolled up because um, you know how normally you leave this section so you could peel it back well I cut the whole thing off so I was gonna work on it that day and I didn't after all so I wanted to make sure that stayed on but anyway, um, so I have started working on it and it has been a joy to work on. I've really enjoyed it. Um, the, everything just, everything, nothing has fallen off. I've unrolled this. I know it's just a little section right here, but I'm only working on these little tiny sections right now. So I've been rolling this up and unrolling it and I haven't had any, <clears throat> excuse me, any drills fall off or anything like that, but it's coming out really nice. So anyway, I just wanted to bring that to your attention to let you guys know how how I am. Let me see if I could get that back. How I kit it up with the kind of like there's multiple of the same um, symbols. So, and it again, it it is working out great. I haven't had any trouble. It's still been a joy to work on, and um, so I wanted to make this video when I was further along. But I did have someone ask about it, so I thought, well, let me just go ahead and, and make this video now, especially since I've already had the unboxing, and then that way you guys can see how I kitted it up and how it's going so far. I'm just going to work on this one a little bit by little bit. It'll probably take me months to finish because I am working on some other canvases as well. I have four going right now. Can you believe that? So that is what I have for you today. Um... So if you have this canvas, let me know. And if you've started on it, um, I would love to know that as well. So yeah, I guess that's it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.